Hi everyone, it's me, Emperor Lemon, and I just really wanted to share my thoughts on this issue. So I'm here to make this video because Behind the Meme did a really bad thing. Behind the Meme may have just made the worst mistake of his YouTube career. So for those of you who don't know the whole story, Behind the Meme basically spent a week and a half uploading these cryptic, disturbing series of videos depicting himself falling into a deep, emotionally disturbed depression. Nobody was really willing to say that these videos weren't real, so everyone got legitimately concerned. And for the first time in a long time, he had a large group of people unabashedly supporting him. And then he uploaded the final video of the series. And in this video, he, for lack of a better term, stages a fake suicide. He takes a gun, puts it up to his head, and then puts in a really obvious gunshot sound effect and blood effect, and he kills himself in a way that's just completely, insultingly, obviously fake. And right after that, at the end of the video, he reveals that the whole thing was just his way of raising suicide awareness. And immediately, once people realized they had been duped, they began turning against him. There were many people in the community that through their unconditional support behind behind the meme, and they ended up looking like fools for falling for this fake scheme. And from a totally impartial perspective, this looks really bad. It would appear that behind the meme took advantage of the serious issues of suicide and depression, emotionally manipulated his audience, consisting mostly of young children, into thinking that he was actually endangering himself, and it would seem that he did all of this for attention. And it is certainly the most hateable thing he has ever done in his YouTube career. Getting hated for making mediocre videos about memes is one thing, but taking advantage of suicide and depression and emotionally manipulating your audience is something that, for a lot of people, is unforgivable. And this whole time this video was coming out, I never really bought into it. I was one of the few people who, throughout the whole ordeal, thought it was fake. And I was almost certain that this would be the exact outcome, and behind the meme would reveal himself as a fraud. Because people who thought this was serious were all gearing up, lining up to jump down my throat, and tar and feather me if anything bad happened behind the meme. Because as far as most of the community knows, I'm apparently the guy who ruined behind the meme's life. But I knew that wasn't going to happen because I knew these videos were fake from the beginning. So I come out with my statement on Twitter saying this, and literally a few hours later, I get instantly proven correct. And that was it. Behind the meme revealed that the videos were fake the whole time. And I was right. And people were turning on him. And he was getting hated. And with this outcome in mind, I was so prepared to get up there on my high horse and dance around on his channel's grave saying I told you so. I was so ready to take all the hate I got from that behind the meme video and say, well, look at this. Look who was right the whole time. But then right as behind the meme's reputation was just burning down right in front of my eyes, I didn't feel any gratification. Everything had gone exactly how I thought it would. And yet, I didn't feel like I won anything. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually feel bad for Behind the Meme now. For the whole time, from when I first started working on the Behind the Meme video, all the way up until the fake suicide video, I didn't have one bit of sympathy for the guy. Even as he was being vociferously hated by a group of people that I directly inspired, I didn't feel sorry for the guy. But for some reason now, during an event in which it would seem the most justified to hate behind the meme, I actually feel sorry for him. And the reason for that is the video he uploaded where he fictitiously shoots himself in the head was so unbelievably poorly executed that I realized that behind the meme may have honestly thought in his head that this was a good idea and that he was supporting a noble cause. For this whole time I was against behind the meme, it was predicated under the assumption that he had some sort of ulterior motive, like he was making videos for money or attention or simply to take advantage of people or because he was lazy. But never once did I consider 
that this guy might just be some fool with a genuinely good heart who somehow stumbled his way into this position of influence by just sheer dumb luck. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that behind the meme, this whole time might have just been some naive guy with nothing but good intentions. I've just become so used to the idea that YouTubers are disingenuous people, that they all carry around this fake persona where they do nothing but pander to fans and market themselves and help their personal brand and wheel and deal behind the scenes to make sure that their channel makes as much money as possible. And I never considered the possibility that perhaps behind the meme isn't any of those things and what he does and says in his videos is just honestly how he is in real life. And the more I think about it, the more I believe that it's actually true. I mean, behind the meme doesn't act like other YouTubers. And with that being said, the first thing that comes to mind is that he has done no networking whatsoever. He has never ever spoken to anyone from the meme community or even the YouTube community for that matter. He never buttered himself up to any bigger YouTuber when he was trying to get popular. He literally did everything by himself without any other YouTuber's help or approval. And when I think of his videos, even though they tend to carry the appearance of gimmicky clickbait, he just doesn't seem to employ the same tactics that other sleazy YouTubers use when they're trying to game the system and only care about views and money. Sure, his videos may seem padded out, but he never seemed to stretch all of them out to 10 minutes to get more ad breaks. He didn't upload every day trying to soak in as many views as possible. He never really shilled out merchandise. He never did scammy gift card giveaways. He didn't do any of that stuff that most YouTubers do when they only care about money and attention. It seems like from all the actions of his YouTube career, behind the meme may have just been a guy who simply took satisfaction from making people happy. And I know his latest series of videos look really bad for him. But the more I look into it, the more I believe it's true that behind the meme is just a clueless guy with no self-awareness who was genuinely trying to spread a positive message. And I don't really know how to feel about that. He's probably going to get hammered for this. People are legitimately going to hate him for this video. I guess I just want to say this. A lot of you out there may really want to hate behind the meme for this incident. And I'm here to say, don't. Don't hate the guy. Take it from me, a guy who many people view as behind the meme's worst enemy. His videos might be mediocre and dumb and really poorly thought out, but it's just not worth hating the guy. I said this at the beginning of the behind the meme video and I'll say it now. Enough is enough. It's time to finally put this issue to rest and leave behind the meme alone.